In today's world, whether I'm walking through a hall and talking to a group of our audio students, or whether I'm addressing a, a chamber of commerce group of individuals about the state of the entertainment and media industries, one question that comes up over and over again is, what about the recording industry? You know, what about the demise and the disillusionment of the recording industry, and what does that mean? Um, first of all, I have a few thoughts about that. First and foremost, music is a passion. It is something that almost every human being needs in their lives in some way, shape, or form. I, I don't know of anybody that does not enjoy music, some type of music, on a fairly regular basis in their lives. So music is here to stay. I think nobody would argue that music through hundreds of gazillions of years has been an important element to civilization, to humans. So music is here to stay. Therefore, there has to be some kind of music industry that will stay to support it. I, I do not disagree. In other words, I agree that there has been a radical change in the recording side of the industry in recent years, and it continues to change. We've seen a lot of the big super studios go away we've seen a lot of not so big and not so super studios just go away, go out of business. So it does beg the question, what's happening here? Record sales between 2001 and 2003 dropped to the lowest levels in recent history. So everybody got rattled, especially the recording side of the, of the industry, of the entertainment industry. My thought about that is, the industry is shifting and changing. It's not dying and it's not going away. The recording industry will never perish unless people just stop wanting music and that's not going to happen. However, the way the business operates is changing and will continue to change. For example, in yesteryear, several huge record companies held the purse strings and the power of the artists who became a 10 million, 10 million selling artist and who didn't? Who got a chance at the brass ring, right? A few powerful entities held that at hand, or in their hands. It's not bad, it's not good, it just was. What's happening today is, because of, of those few entities refusing to adapt to online record sales, the online sale of music, and trying to hold that last vestige of control too long, I think the music side of our industry lost a lot of ground by not being willing to step up to the plate and say we got and to say to ourselves, we have to evolve. The internet, computers are changing the way business is done. We've got to evolve too, like the game industry is evolving, like video will have to evolve. So nowadays, as we as we all know, with, with the onset of iTunes and with the onset of so many other uh, bona fide distribution channels for music, whereby people don't have to pirate or steal music in order to get it through the internet, because now the record labels are releasing and signing over and allowing the licensing of their music to be sold, the, the, the dip in revenue has changed. According to PricewaterhouseCoopers, we're going to see the music side of our industry increase by 2.4 billion dollars in sales over the next, what is 2008, next two years. 2.4 billion in increase is what's projected. So the bottom happened 01 to 03. The industry, the music side of our industry, like all the elements of entertainment, are on the rise again, is on the rise again now. And so I think better days are ahead. What doesn't change though is that the way we go about being a record company, distributing our music, getting a record deal, who's buying it, has become fragmented. So if you think about it, it's woe is me if you're trying to be a Bruce Springsteen and sell 10 million albums a pop, because I don't think that opportunity exists very many places anymore, if at all. But the other side of that coin is, if you're a recording artist, 
the playing the the playing field is leveled a bit now. Everybody, depending on how creative you are, has a shot at getting your name out there. And you probably won't sell 10 million records, but you can become an entity as a band, as a musician, as a product, if you will, on a, a playing field where there aren't massive hurdles to overcome. Today you see artists doing things like, okay, I'm a musician, I write music. How do I get my music out there? I'm going to look for a commercial. I'm going to take my original music and I've got to find a commercial to see if I can get a placement. I have to get my name known in other areas of the industry outside of a CD store where you go buy a record. You have artists looking to gaming companies and shopping their music at a gaming company like Electronic Arts in hopes of getting a deal to be on the next big game. And where you may not get signed with a $1.7 million advance on your first record today, you may get signed with a $30,000 advance on doing music for a new game. So it's a different world. The money stacks are smaller and spread out further, but my premise, which I hold high in the flag I wave, is that this industry is strong, resilient, and the music industry will be here today, tomorrow, and for as long as people are around, and it's going to get better. Even PricewaterhouseCoopers says it is.